More excitement, we're ready to make the draw. The four pieces of wood on my bench top, draw front, two draw sides and a draw back. That's gonna be the basic um, ingredient for making the draw. Dovetails at the front, housing dados at the back. And um, you'll see how it's done. We're gonna start with the, the front piece. I've planed the surfaces of my wood. I've got everything square. Uh, and I've squared one end here. This is the start of fitting the draw. So I'm gonna offer this into the opening and I'm going to fit, I'm going to cut the length, I've got the yet to cut it to length, and I'm, then I'm going to plane it to width. So we start out right here, offer it to the opening, check that the end of the, the draw corresponds nicely with the side of the opening so that there are no gaps. And then I'm going to take my knife right on the extreme, make no allowance, you want it dead to size, because the draw always, almost always, ends up slightly undersized. So we want to keep it tight. A draw needs to be slightly undersized when it's concluded. But in the process, it tends to go that direction anyway, rather than being too big. If it's too big, we simply plane some off. So from here on, I use that one knife nick here, just to get the overall length. And I've got my face mark and face edges on my piece of wood so I know which edge to register my square to. So I'm going to mark this now and the next stage I'm going to cut this to length. That will be the, the next stage. Once we cut that to length, plane it, we offer it to the opening. I'll show you how we do that. <laughs> Once you've got those lines on the front and the top edge, just transfer them all the way around. These are going to be very definitive cut lines. We don't want to go beyond them. We want to stay right up close or plain to them if you want to. And I'm good. So it's up to you. You could use a crosscut handsaw for this. I'm just going to go with a tenon saw, I think, a, ten inch, a 12 inch tenon saw. Listen to the sound, you'll hear the change in pitch. A little pressure on the outside with my hand here. Light, light, very lightly now. I'm gonna offer it in here. I'm just gonna offer it to the hole first just to see how close I am and I'm quite close so now I'm going to use the smoothing plane just to take off a little bit to get down to the line I don't go all the way through I leave that bit I'm down to my line this side turn around Come in from this side. I know I'm square because my cut line is still there. And if this is slightly over, it's just going in. So it's self-supporting. I don't want it any tighter than that. So I want it to be self-supporting. The only part I've got left to do now is my top edge. Watch what happens here. Instead of taking a full width shaving, tilt your plane slightly like this. Offer it to the opening and keep doing that until it goes in. So a little bit more like that. 
puts a slight bevel on there. And now it's in the opening. So I know that that pitch that I put on that side is the depth I need to get to. So here, full width, leave it fat. Better to leave the drawer slightly big, but not too much. And now it's, it's in the opening, self-supporting. I know it's a dead fit. Now I'm ready to start working on the side pieces to get them. Ugh. How do I get this out now? There we go. So I've got my front marked front. I've got the inside marked with my face marked face edges. These are my side pieces. I've marked these also. I've marked the inside. I haven't fitted these to the opening yet. I don't know how they're going to go, but these will go here and here, and they are close enough for me not to do any more. So I'm ready to lay out for my dovetails. We're ready to lay out for the dovetails. And what I want to walk you through is a slightly different system than normal. Most times when you lay out using this system, you end up with a half pin on the outside, top and bottom, and then uh, double sized in between the dovetails. In this case, I want three dovetails, and you can choose for yourself how many dovetails you want, but what I want is equal sizes on the pins. I want all the pins to be equal size, and I'm shooting for three millimeter, three eighths of an inch. So I'm shooting for th uh, three eighths of an inch for each of the pins. What I do, because I want that 3 8 so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to mark 3 16 in from the outside edge. I'm coming over here, I'm guesstimating this position, I don't know if it's the right one, I'm making 3 16 on this side. Then, because I want to divide this equally into 3 for 3 uh, tails, I have to divide this distance up by a divisible amount. So I've got uh, six inches. So where the two inch mark incurs here, I can use that for the center of my pin. So there I've got four inches. So then when I take this, I just use my finger against the edge of the ruler here. And I make, let me just check myself here. I just take that point there and transfer to the end of here. That makes the, sin the center of my pin recess. And then I go on this one here, like this. And then I'm going to go, I'm gonna go uh, three sixteenths on either side of those two marks. So there's one on one side, and there's one on the other. That gives me three eighths in between and the same on this one, three eighths will be the end result. There. So these are the points where my dovetails start. Then I'm coming in from this outside edge here, three eighths of an inch. So I've got three eighths and then a distance, three eighths, then a distance, three eighths, then a distance. And that gives me equal size dovetails. And it gives me a more substantive pin at the top and bottom. I want that. So there I am. Ah, no draw. Where is my dovetail template? Lost forever. Here's my dovetail template. So here, I'm going to make my dovetail lines with my dovetail marker. You could use a sliding bevel, of course, if you don't have one of these, or you could learn to make one. And the last one here is on the outside. Now the length of my dovetails is going to be 5 eighths of an inch. I'm using the pencil first of all, but I'll ultimately be going to a knife, 
One of the things that I've already done, and I should point it out now, is that I have checked the ends of these and I've planed them dead square. So both sides, the draw sides, are both plain dead square on the end. So I'm ready now to transfer these, put them together. I just put a pencil here to level the underside surface. So that's the bottom of my drawer. Bring them both together in the vise like this. And then use my square to go across the two so that I have the exactness that I want for both. They both will be exactly the same. And the reason I've done it this way is I'm going to be putting a groove in the bottom, things like that, that I want to make sure I've allowed for to give the strength I want. This is a working draw. This is a draw that I use in the everyday of life. So there I have that. Now I transfer this and those marks on this side. So I've got my dovetails on both sides, just like this. Those are my cut lines and my angles. Very simple. Okay, so now I need my line going around there and then I'm going to start showing you a, another unique aspect to this dovetail is I'm gonna put a recess on the inside of these faces here. And you'll see this, you'll see the value of it as we start progressing through making the draw. Let me walk you through this. Um, we're going to put a small rebate on the inside of here. This is my draw front here. And this one is going to be dovetailed onto here. What I don't want, the reason I came up with that distance from the edge, picture this if you will. This is the draw front facing you. Um, I've got five eighths of an inch here, which leaves about an eighth of an inch on the front of here, which is going to mask the end of the dovetail so they won't be seen after. So what I do is I'm going to recess my, my tails in here. I'll have that edge on the front. But also what I want to do is put a recess on this side. I want to do a recess of one eighth of an inch there also. So that means to get to that, I'm going to put my square on here and I'm going to mark my distance. There's my 5 8 distance. Here's my sharp knife. The important thing about all dovetailing is you've got to have sharp tools, sharp pencil. So I'm making my knife wall. My first pass was very light. Now I'm going quite heavily. Now I'm going very heavily with as heavy as I like. And I'm going to make this recess down here. The recess, I've already set this uh, router plane to the one eighth, so the distance from the tip to the surface here is one eighth of an inch. And I'm going to rub this along here, like this. That's the exact, the finished depth that I'm going to on the inside face of the draw. You'll see this come together in a minute. Because this is a cutting edge, you want to work safely. I'm taking advantage of the third hand here. So I've got this uh, held securely. Let me see if I can turn this around so you can see. So if I bring my cutting edge along here, I'm pressing this laterally into the surface of the wood. And then I run my cutting edge right along that edge. That's the exact finish. This is already set to the the final depth, so that's where I'm going to end up. So I'll be using this to establish that shortly. Wide chisel, chisel hammer, into your knife wall. Get your dovetail saw, whatever one you want to use. A small saw works best. Right in on the knife wall. Drop those teeth. 
You have to remember, you can't go past that line. It will show after your dovetail. No, it won't show after your dovetail's cut. So you don't have to worry too much on this. Those lines won't show after, so misinformation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bop this with the chisel hammer. Am I going to go right into that uh, knife? No, that... Um, Router depth, no, I'm going to go slightly away from it. I'm going to pop it to see what the direction of my... It looks pretty good, although it's a little nearer to the line than I want. I'm going to do the same on this side. Just pop it, yeah, that's fine. And stay away from my line a millimeter or two, just to take off the bulk of the waste, like that. If the grain's not running true, go across the grain and work from the side like this. And that will get you there too. I'm switching to this, but it may still be a little too much. Ah, it looks like it's going to be fine. So I'm just, see, I'm working gently this. Gently, I feel for it as I'm going. I, I'm finding resistance that direction, so I switch to this direction and see whether I get a better flow, and I do. So, because I want this surface to be nice and regular. I'm going to pull from this side here. Like this. I've left a little top weight on here, a little bit too much, but it's, it's cutting fine. I didn't quite go deep enough. And that's it. So I've got this nice crisp recess there, and now I'm ready to cut my dovetails. This is so exciting for me because I love this method. I developed it a long time ago and I've used it for most of my dovetails. But I think if this is your first draw, you're gonna, and first time for half lap dovetails, I think you're going to love it as much as I do. Go tight in the vise. Go get everything as, as tight as you can. You'll get much less uh, vibration if you do. Follow your lines. I would suggest you stop a goodly amount above your line, maybe as much as two mil. You don't want to go beyond that, that uh, recess wall, for sure. You're cutting on the waist side. Once you've gone in between, you're going to take your square onto this side and from that knife wall that you made before, you're going to go across this top edge here, there, flip over and do the same from this one, square that across, check your registering against your face edge, and then we're going to go across the grain in between the curves, like this. Go 
it's all lightly with that first person. This is quite hard, this, this pine, actually, this particular piece. There I've got my cut lines, which is not my pencil lines. Let me see if I can erase those so there's no confusion. There we have it. So into your vise. I've got a good firm grip because I went low down here and higher here. I like to do that. Choose your weapons. This is, I've got a half inch chisel here, but I think I'm going to go with a three eighths. So into here, 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 and here. You certainly don't need to do it on these outside ones because we're going to cross cut those with the tenon saw, but you do need to do this edge here like this. Drop your saw in. Clean up. On that end grain, just go with a narrow chisel, maybe I'm going to use that half inch chisel here. Go onto your knife wall, I've sawn a little bit away from my shoulder because I don't want to lose that crisp line when I finish. So I'm going on here, just trimming these end grain fibres a little bit. I think that's good. Same on here. Nice crisp corners you want. And now we're going to take that midsection out, or those midsections. So I'm going to chop here. This is where it gets a little bit difficult. If you've got a scrap of wood, slide this under here just to cushion it while you're chopping. Like this. This is very gentle, this one. I'm right on my knife wall, but I'm going very gently like that, because I don't want to move my knife wall. So I'm using my fingertips because I feel more confident down there than I do by the handle. I'm going to do the inside, but I'm just getting that really defining this inside line here. I can go quite heavily with this. Now my upper body pressure here, hand, look at my hand positions and I'm just pushing, nudging this chisel edge in until I feel a, a, a big resistance. As soon as I feel that resistance, I stop and I flick the waste wood out. Because that's really only going to split down to the depth of the cut. This is a little bit different than a regular dovetail. More chopping here. I've got a good wall of resistance now. So I can hit harder. Make sure there's nothing underneath to mar the wood when you start chopping from this side, right up against the knife wall. Shoulders behind it. Hands behind the cutting edge every time. And 
I'm nearly through. This is just a scrap of wood here. It's nothing to do with these dovetails. Almost through. It gets quite weak inside here, so be careful when you're pressing down that you're not forcing this apart with your hand underneath it. Just go carefully. Can you see, this is flexing here, so I'm more gentle with it. go straight on the bench top. I think I'll get the solidity I need now. Choked up on the chisel so I didn't hit the bench top. And that's basically it. I'm going to clean up the end grain workpiece in the vise. Just put my chisel onto the knife wall just to chisel through these end grain fibers. Rock the chisel till I meet the shoulder on the other side. That's it. Nice crisp surface that I'm looking for. tight annual rings on this, growth rings, it's surprising how hard this is. Great, so that's that and I'm ready to make my pin section ready next.